you can open them it's hard to to do this on camera open oops hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i want to give you a quick nursery baby nursery tour we haven't done any of the cute decorating yet but the bed and the wardrobe arrived and i wanted to quickly show you some of their features And also all the items that we mentioned in the Newborn Essentials Part 1 and Part 3 uh, that had not arrived yet when I filmed those videos. So this is the bed. As I already told you, this is the Fister Cara Baby Bed. Or in Turkey, it is sold under the brand Chilek. They are actually the ones producing it. And I'm gonna do some close-ups, but basically you have like this part of the bed, which is approximately like 135 um, and then you have this part of the bed with the changing table, which is approximately 45 centimeters. And a couple of features for the bed. I'm gonna take a shot a little bit later, but basically it has underneath a drawer where right now we are just storing the extra part from the stroller, like the one that you use after six months. Uh, but you can also put an additional mattress in there. Then the mattress of the bed is 180 by 80 because I think I showed you pictures, basically the railings and the changing table come off and it becomes like a normal toddler or uh, child bed of 180 by 80. The mattress is I think the only thing from all the new Warney Sessions that has not arrived yet. Um, and then, yeah, here on the changing table, uh, on this side you have drawers, and I'm gonna show you what is inside each of the drawers. And then on the other side, so basically it's like up till half, it has drawers, and on the other side it has shelves. So basically when you remove the changing table, you can use it as like two little nightstands if you want, like one of them with drawers and one of them with shelves. And the railings, the one in the back is fixed, and the one in the front, you can actually adjust it. It has some knobs here. Um, and if you pull on both of them, you can actually move it up or down. Uh, which it comes in handy, especially at some point, like if you want to put the baby down or lift the baby, uh, then you don't have to bend over uh, as much. And right now we are actually storing the co-sleeper inside. I will talk about the co-sleeper in a second. Um, just because we don't want to attach it next to our bed because it just removes some of my uh, space and being quite pregnant at the moment, I need all the space whenever I need to like get in bed and out of bed. So we will only attach it to the bed closer to when the baby arrives. And one of the things from the newborn essential part two actually, the textile one is this uh, bed protection, which is this cute coral color and it's muslin. Uh, we washed everything by the way uh, already. So uh, this one is actually, it fits the bed perfectly. We bought it, we were not sure if it was going to fit, but yeah, it fits pretty perfectly. And I know that there are studies that say that you should not have 
these like bumpers on the bed but basically what they say is that just you need to make sure that they are really really well tied so that there's no risk that they will fall over the baby and then the baby can suffocate okay so let's talk about some of the other items that are on the bed or in the shelves so one of them is the changing mat and in the end we went for this print it is 45 by 70 um, our bed is I think more like 45 by 80 which is nice because at the very end we can use it to store maybe um, a couple of um, I don't know maybe even like diapers or wet wipes if we want to or some toys to entertain the baby while we change her and here in the drawers I'm going to show you also how the drawers look like inside and have a separation like on the left with slightly bigger space and on the right it's a slightly smaller one I'm just going to show you what is inside so we have the diapers the pampers harmony that we went for and we haven't opened them yet because we just thought it doesn't make sense to like open the box and just have them absorb like smells and dust and so on so we will only open them when the baby comes um, then here in the top drawer we also have a pack of wet wipes as you know we bought a pack of 18 of these we just have one in here um, we have the baby cream the Veleda one that I was already able to show it to you last time and finally we have the diaper changing pads which we changed I think the ones that I showed you in the video were uh, 35 no 45 by 30 and I realized that they are too small so these ones are actually 45 by 60 and they cover the changing mat almost completely so there will be only 10 centimeters left uh, which is fine because hopefully uh, even when you have like a poop explosion it doesn't go all the way to the head so yeah they are like this and they will keep the, the changing mat clean and I think that they also come in handy when, when we travel and we don't have access, maybe not even to, to a changing table. Then in the second drawer we have a couple of things, so we have some bathroom things, the shampoo I already showed it to you, the Veleda one. Um, and then we have the bathtub thermometer. I remember that I linked a different one initially, but in the end we went for this Philips Avent one. It had some of the best reviews. And basically it also, we don't know how to turn it off. It might be, we might be able to turn it off. We don't know how to do it, but right now it's measuring the indoor temperature. It says it's 23.7, um, but it shows you a sign if the indoor temperature is 18 degrees because that is considered as comfort temperature for babies and when you put it in the bathtub it also shows you a sign when you reach the right temperature for the baby bathtub which for the baby bath which is 37 uh, degrees celsius uh, i think that's it for the bath then we have i'm not going to show that to you again but the nose aspirator, the F nose Frida aspirator, and the Zoeva, the manicure set, the nail filer, and then a couple of new things that we have in here are these slightly larger cotton pads. In the end, we went for this brand because the one that I mentioned in the video initially was not um, shipping to Switzerland, but we'll see if we like them. And how much we use them maybe we'll go for a different brand next time because they are not very big and also i don't know if it's because they are bio they have this like i don't know if the camera will catch it um like little dots on them so yeah i'm not so sure about it and then we have the physiological serum which is like individual doses of physiological serum that you can use to um like soften nose box but also clean the baby's face eyes nose ears and so on so we have that in this drawer uh, and then these we still need to wash but the pacifiers so we went for the philips event pacifiers and this third one actually came together with the bottles it's also another soother 
that we are going to sterilize. And then in here we only kept the small baby bottles, also from Philips event, two of them. The bigger one we just kept them in storage for the moment, since I think that in the first two weeks or so she wouldn't drink more than 125 milliliters anyway. So that's it for the second drawer. And then in the last one, we currently just have the baby thermometer that you have already seen, the brown one, and the baby monitors, which you have also already seen. Okay, so let's move on. I'm gonna switch the angle and show you the wardrobe. Okay, so this is the baby wardrobe. Maybe I'm gonna like shoot a full, I'm gonna show you how it shows in full height as well. Uh, on top of it, we currently just have the Duna car seat that I'm gonna show you separately. We filmed an unboxing and I'm also gonna show you its main features. But yeah, basically this is the wardrobe. It is also the Fister Cara Baby wardrobe matching the, the bed. And again, in Turkey and I think in Germany as well, it's sold under the name Chilek. So the wardrobe has kind of like two main sections. One of them is on the right where it has shelves. And I've, sh I've already showed you, I think, most of these pieces. Um, we still need to add labels, but basically what we have is on the two shelves where it's like easiest to grab things. We have baby pajamas, so we have those with zippers and those, uh, I don't know if you call them staples, but like not with zippers. And then here we have uh, baby buddies, those like onesies, vests, depending on how you call them baby pants and then here on the right I'm gonna shoot close-ups as well we have hats, bibs, mittens and socks and then above and below we have the next size like I said I'm gonna add labels so these were zero to one month and then here up here we have the pajamas in uh, one to three months again with zippers and those that are not with zippers and then here we have uh, the bodies in the size the pants and the short sleeved bodies. And below we just have the sling, a foot sack that I'm gonna talk about in uh, the video in which I talk about the Duna and the stroller. So stay tuned for that, or it might be a video that went up before this one. Um, and then yeah, for the moment I'm keeping the breast pump in there because yeah, I don't know exactly where to store it. And we have some gifts. I don't know if I've showed you this. We got these <laughs> cute little shoes as a gift from our friends. Uh, and maybe she would wear them at the wedding that I told you we have in mid-June. Uh, and some bodies in size 50, uh, which, so we actually haven't bought any clothes ourselves in size 50. Uh, because we don't know how big she will be, but if she will be really small and she will need size 50, we will open those and wash them. And if we need more than that, we will also just go to our local uh, retailer and buy more uh, size 50, like PJs and everything that, that is needed. And then the second section of the wardrobe, let me just move the angle a little bit. You can see we have a chair and a shelf here. So the second section of the wardrobe is here and here we have at the top and again I'm gonna show some close-ups but at the top we have bird clothes, blankets, towels, everything you have already seen all of these. Here we have hangers, the Amazon basic velvet hangers with the hanger dividers that I talked about and we mostly hanged things like um, like the knitted clothes from Hur's mom, the one dress that we bought for her, um, the winter overalls, and a couple of outfits that are like two-piece outfits. And then at the bottom, again, I'm gonna show the clothes up, but basically we have like the co-sleeper sheets, the bed sheets, and the sleep suits. Basically everything arrived except for, for the sleep suit. So at the hospital, they told us that they use sleep suits, so we said, okay, let's buy some to have them at home as well. And we bought one in size 70. And when it came home, we realized that it is two to six months. And there's a smaller size, size 60, which is zero to two months. So we ordered one of those as well. 
and I don't think I've showed you I've shown you this so I'm gonna show you the uh, the slip suit looks like this it is very cute it is from a brand called baby nest and normally they are around like $50 plus but this color was actually half price uh, in Black Friday and also now when we ordered the smaller size and yeah they are quite thick uh, they are cotton and the color is very very similar to all the other I can show you for comparison all the other corally things that uh, we bought for her and then at the very bottom we have the fitted sheets for the bed and for the co-sleeper, the car seat protection and some clothes in bigger size. Most of them are three to six months, but we also have some six to nine months, nine to 12, 12 to 18 and 18 to 24. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up the angle again because I have a couple of extra items that I wanna show you that I mentioned in some of the newborn essentials video that had not arrived yet uh, or that we were not sure that we were gonna get, but we got in the end. So let me do that. And let's talk a little bit about the co-sleeper. So I'm gonna insert the picture so that you can see how it attaches to the bed. Uh, but basically it came in three parts. So it came, yeah, with this part, this part and that one. And we just had to like connect them using the screws there. Um, and then in order to attach the bed, you have, I hope that uh, the camera picks it, you have these systems. You just need to know exactly either know exactly what the height of your bed is or put it next to the bed in order to to attach it properly so you have this i think in four uh, places uh, around the co-sleeper and then together with this you attach it to the bed itself so you have to make sure that the frame of the bed itself is here and then the level of your mattress is at the level of the co-sleeper mattress but yeah i think it looks pretty good so I'm still in the baby room just on the couch. We actually kept the couch that we had in there in here in case either me or her need a different place to sleep at some point, but also if we have guests coming over and for the moment everything fits. So let me talk you through four additional things that um, that we got and that arrived. So the first one is baby shampoo. I think in the newborn essentials, I mentioned the Frosch one. In the end, we went to the one that is available in our local retailer, which is La Vivere, um, which I think is a better choice just because otherwise we would have to stock up on it. For example, I don't know if you can see if the camera catches it, but already, yeah, like almost half of it is gone just because we washed everything um, that we bought initially. So I think it's nice to be able to purchase it whenever we, we need it. And we also got the matching conditioner from them, the sensitive baby line. Um, the second thing that I'm gonna show you is the baby bouncer. So we got this as a gift. Um, I'm going to take it out of the bag afterwards and show you uh, how it works. It just, it looks like this. And basically you put it on the floor. I think it has three height uh, settings. Um, you put the baby inside and then the baby can rock themselves uh, with their own movement or you can also rock them if you press on the, on the baby bouncer. I'm gonna show you that in a sec. And there are also additional accessories that you can buy. Like I've seen that you can buy something like a bar that you put around to attach toys to it once the baby is bigger and they wouldn't like sit without having some sort of entertainment. The next item that I'm gonna show you is the baby bathtub, the twist shape baby bathtub. Let me just take it out of the plastic foil. So it looks like this and it is very compact. Like when it's folded, I think it's, I don't know, like 10 centimeters or something like that. And it has these levers here at the bottom that you can just open and then when you open it it's you see like this size i'm also going to put it on the floor and show it to you and it has a non-slip area for the head and here at the bottom um it has basically a drain so that you can easily drain the water once the bath is done 
and we also got the matching cushion basically it looks like this so you can strap it to the bathtub and it's really helpful when the baby is really small because it is uh, first of all something like soft that they can sit on uh, you can easily make sure that the water doesn't go above a certain level and yeah you just don't have to hold them you can use both hands to to wash them and the final item that I'm gonna talk about um, I'm gonna just take it out of the bag as well we try to keep everything in the bag for the moment so that they don't get scratched it is the Ubi steel diaper pail in this beautiful ivory uh, color which we thought goes really well with the white and the wood um, and it is actually bigger than we thought I don't know if you can see for for reference and a couple of things that it has so basically it has a child safety lock here so if you open it you can actually open the diaper pail and then if you close it you cannot uh, open the diaper pail and then you can of course open this top part and put a bag inside the good thing is that it works with any type of uh, bag if you have uh, you just need to check the volume of the diaper pail to make sure that uh, it fits properly and I know that it stores quite a lot of diapers uh, for newborns and I think even for uh, large sizes it stores up to 20 diapers. We also got these toy boxes. They say toys, there's one with a T in the, in the study room, which fit perfectly in the IKEA shelf. I'm gonna link them now below. I think they were like 10 or $15, maybe even less for like four of them. And they are great. They have a lot of space. And we already put her toys in the one that we have in the study room. And since I promised that I would show you all the other things that we buy for, for the baby, this is an electric heater um, that basically has like an on off button. You can, cho button, you can choose to rotate it or not. Um, you can use a timer for it and like increase or decrease uh, the temperature. And we bought it mostly to use it for her in the bathtub, but we're actually also using it for ourselves just to warm ourselves up in the evenings. And there is one more baby item that is on the way. Well, I guess a baby item. So after we bought our house indoor thermometer, we saw that our humidity is somewhere between like 25 and 35 percent and that the comfort one is actually for between 40 and 70. So we ordered an air humidifier and I'm also going to show you that in a future vlog once it arrives. But I'm going to end this like uh, empty nursery tour with the bed and the wardrobe and all the newborn essentials that I introduced to you more using like pictures in the initial videos uh, now live. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments down below if you've used any of these items, if you like them or not, if you'd recommend them or not. Um, and also if there are any other alternatives that uh, you would recommend instead. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We post a video every single week and it is free, but it supports our channel a lot. And thank you so much for watching. And we will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!